that you do, the, the presence in the moment and the improvisation to some uh, basic elements like this, is this something that you look for? Uh, like a concept? Yeah, like these are, to, these are to things, draw as an improviser, I think about quite often, there's no way to explain it exactly. <laughs> you know, it, yeah. it comes from what? From the air, from the clouds, from the sky, from the dust, from your heart. Uh, these are things that, uh, especially Randy and I, in the early days, talked about this a lot for hours, uh, you know, looking at nature, looking at this, looking at... And, and so dust is one of those conditions uh, that, that attracted to me. Uh, you know, it, it's not there, it's there, it's what... You know, and the mystery of improvisation can kind of be found in those kind of elemental things. I don't know if anybody wants to add to that. No, I, I, I just feel that sometimes things are, are more obvious than we imagine, and we don't have to present it so fully clothed. You know, I, I think it registers, and by allowing for a kind of lightness um, in the execution of it and your ideas, let, let it be patient, let, let, let it unfold in just a lovely way, you know, the, the perfect way.
about the title of the group, Dust. It's a very good title because the, the, the way we played this music with this band, for me, I mean, at least for me, it was, it's very close to this idea of dust. It's very, something very, um, you can barely touch it. So there's a lot of nuances. It's something that, it's not easy to play at all. And you, as Matt says, it's really important to find the right combination of people. Their ears and they, their depth of, of understanding music make it possible, so we play this dust stuff.
trigger and a muscle memory and you kind of play with it and then you keep, the thing keeps changing and changing and changing. That contradiction, you know, oh, I, I'm going to play a loud muted accent. Oh no, I'm going to play a soft legato note. Ah, and this tension, that's musical. There's a tension and then that tension, as long as you allow that tension to, to um, come out, that's what you have to do. The problem is musicians cover this stuff up sometimes. You know, they're like, oh, that was a mistake. But I would say, if it's a mistake, that's the best thing I played. Seriously, like, if that's a mistake, that's the best thing I, if I played a mistake, I did, that's the best thing. I'm, I'm going to make that the cornerstone of, like, the, uh, the compositional cornerstone. You know, I, I have to, because it's the only way I can play. Because if I, if I threw it in the garbage, just threw it away, then I can't, the, the, that particular piece of music is over. So whatever that thing was, you know, like that odd kind of thing, yeah, that's what I want. That's, that's, that's the thing I want. saying that as being, you know, most drummers think in terms of pulse or beat. What Randy said, play, playing notes, you know, on the drums. 
So when Ran you know, when I hear Randy play, I'm I'm like hearing melodies. I'm not relating it to, you know, oh he's playing here's here's like a funk groove now or you know. Even we may count stuff off or it's yeah. in a meter, but it's just playing no melodies and phrases within that, but you know, and we don't have to state, you know, this waltz or this four four. Even though some, you can go, you know, we do toy with that and play within those frameworks. But there's no reason to have to state that as as a groove. Because the notes that we play and the lines that are happening are reflecting that time, you know, that signature. Does that make sense?
often uh, what happens is if you have a duet and you add a third person, it extremely changes how you play to, with each other. And so you have the same duet and you put it in a different third person, that's going to extremely change. So every little part can completely throw the music on its head. So choosing bands, you end up finding a collective of people that you love to work with. Randy, I've known since the 1980s, John since the 1990s, Lucian since the 2000s, and you build these relationships over many, many years. And yes, if I put a different person here or a different person there, it's gonna change very much. But the group of musicians that I find that I love to work with, it's a long process of years and years of building a relationship together to, to kind of understand. So like, there's some kind of kindred spirit. So all these pieces kind of came into play for Dust. I just knew this melodies would work with these, these men and uh, I'm very happy about it. You know. Thank mm -hmm. you. 